Hello, I'm Adrian of excelattheoffice.com and in this quick video I'm going to show you how you can sort out the orientation, so landscape or portrait, and also the size of your slides. So first of all I'm going to open up a blank presentation from when you open PowerPoint. I'm using uh, PowerPoint for Mac but uh, it's pretty much the same as PowerPoint for Windows these days. Office 365 is really uh, nicely compatible for both. So I'm just going to delete the sections of what's created on the new slide for me. I've had a few practice goes at this so hopefully uh, this goes well so you'll see it's opened up as presentation 4 but you'll find how to orient and change the size of your slides on the design tab and it's a little button here called slide size so normally when you open something if you're opening up an old PowerPoint presentation it will probably be shown in the uh, default 4x3 size which looks a bit like this looks a bit rubbish and square doesn't really present nicely on uh, big screens modern TVs and so on I like to use widescreen as a default so you just press on that button and you can choose standard widescreen or if you go to page setup you'll get many more options but before we do I like widescreen because you can use it uh, to place images text and other designs I'll show you in other videos just really nicely on the page yet focusing on uh, your content but I'm going to show you the page setup so this is uh, widescreen it gives you a whole heap of other options here so for example uh, letter paper A3 is quite useful if you're going to be exporting it to PDF and you want to fit a lot onto the slide A4 obviously is a standard uh, size if you're going to be printing out um, and there's two variations of widescreen 16 by 9 16 by 10 I'm just going to stick with the widescreen for now and then so that's how you change the size of your slides very simple now the second bit is how you change whether or not it's landscape or portrait and this is simply on the orientation uh, side of things so changing this one uh, when you change something it gives you the option of scaling up, scaling down. I've got no content on here. I'd advise you do this uh, when you open up a new blank presentation because um, otherwise it messes around with all your content. It will try and figure it out for you um, but I, you have to choose one or the other to make it happen and you see that's now changed it to portrait so if you want to design a flyer uh, or something like that it can be quite helpful to do it in portrait scale and then send it to PDF for printing if you're wanting kind of a normal portrait A5 flyer or A4 flyer or something like that uh, so talking of A4 let's change it to A4 paper and keeping with that orientation So this will now uh, orient like a A4 normal page of paper. So it's very versatile uh, how you can use PowerPoint. You can use it for all sorts of things, flyers, slides, and so on. Uh, I've designed some kind of process charts in portrait view before. I've used it for that. It's quite helpful. And generally, you can change the slide size as well from anything to creating a banner advert for your design that's a really narrow scale I'll just show you that so banners uh, here and that's really handy for doing very narrow uh, adverts designs and so on and if you have that landscape it will be a nice uh, image you can then save for going on your website at the top of your screen. So yeah, slide sky, size, slide sizes, and uh, scales, and portrait and landscape really easy. You just go to the design tab uh, of your ribbon, 
and use the slide size button. There you go. I hope you like this video. Give me a shout if there's uh, anything else you'd like covered and feel free to uh, visit my site at excel at the office .com. Thank you.